Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, so I initially wanted to play uh, Skyrim, um, record it and everything. However, um, I am having a little bit of audio stuttering with the game, um, and it's a uh, it's kind of hard to describe. Basically, uh, whenever I go into the game. Uh, I noticed that my OBS is not syncing or is um, having a hard time running the audio smoothly um, and everything. It's fine when I'm in menus like like and, and everything. And I've even done test recordings and on, on this and everything. So, yeah. So we're going to be playing ESO. I haven't tested it on Oblivion. I haven't tested it on Morrowind or anything like that. So, um we will see, but if it doesn't work on Oblivion or um, or uh, Morrowind or anything, you know what? I might as well just st play ESO because I may or may be able to fix it later on today, tonight. I ra rather so. Yeah. Anyways, we are going to be doing the Fighters Guild now. Last time, I tried this, it crashed on me, and it. Locked me out for a little bit, so. Comrade, I have an urgent message for you. Guildmaster sees all colors. Would like to see you as soon as possible. She said the journal has revealed something about the Vivicus, whatever that is. She awaits you at the guild hall. Okay, where can I find her? You can find her in the hall in Mournhold, comrade. May the eight protect you. All right. Did she say what's happening? No idea. Word around the hall is that she's been working day and night on some mysterious project. I've even seen some mages' guild scribes wandering around the place. Strange. Uh, but yeah, but um, so last time I did this, it completely crashed on me, and I was very much upset about it. Very much upset about it. What's in here? Writing yard. Wonder what's in here. You know, I've never actually been in here. Interesting. Anyways. Before I do that, Magistrix Box was finally defeated. What a shame. That was a little bit of an echo.
You didn't see shit. Good to see you again, comrade. You recall our encounter with Dosha, yes? When we found her encoded journal? Uh, it has been translated? Yes. We called in several favors to do it, but we've cracked her code. In service to her dark master, Dosha was after something hidden in a dwarven ruin, a place known as Mazenat. So what was she looking for? We're not sure, but it seems to have something to do with that more tomb Vivicus her notes mention. Mizenelt is far from here, but I've prepared a portal that will carry us across Tamriel. What do you say, comrade? Venture with me into the unknown? Sure. I will open the portal. Takes just a moment. Here we go. And it was this particular quest that, you know, uh, crashed on me in a specific spot. Dosha was no scholar. She did nothing idly. The river has brought us here for a reason. So what are we looking for? A treasure of some kind, a potent weapon or an epic spell. Dosha respected only one thing, power. Whatever it is, we must get it away from here. So why the urg urgency? Dosha knew of this place, and so others do as well. If we don't retrieve, whatever it is, others will come. And it must have something to do with that more tomb Vivicus. If Molag Bal plans to unleash that weapon again, we must stop it. So what do you think it is? The last days of the Dwemer were endless war. Their mages raced to perfect ever more esoteric spells ever more powerful weapons. Perhaps the origins of the Vivicus stem from that long gone era. A holdfast of the Dwemer, the dwarves. We're somewhere in Hammerfell, I think, near the South Dragontail Mountains. Or so Dosha's notes say. So why Hammerfell? Why does the river take us anywhere? The Dwemer built complexes all throughout Northern Tamriel. My guess is that we're at this ruin for a treasure of some kind. If just any dwarven ruin would do, there are closer places than Mazenelt. Do you know where the dwarves went, sees all colors? <laughs> if I did, I'd be the wisest woman in Tamriel, comrade. No, no one knows what made the dwarves disappear. Or at least, no one is safe. Mm. Can you remind me about Josh Dosha? Dosha kidnapped our comrade, Merrick. She intended to harvest his soul from Molag Bal. In service to a plan involving this Mortum Vivicus. And then, of course, you came to his rescue, slew her, and stole her journal, which is what led us here. Did you learn anything else about from, from Dosha's journal? Many things. The journal spoke of this place, but it also spoke of terrible things. Things I wish I could unlearn. Prolonged contact with Molag Bal twisted her mind. Well, all right then. Onward. What in Nern? The undead are close behind us. We must hide the remains of the weapon. Now, the 
automatons are still active. We'll die down here. We will see this done, or Molan Bal's hunters will chew on our bones. Kurano is right. With any luck, the constructs will hold back the dead. Let's move. I still think this plan is madness. Those were ancient ones. Aliens in a Dwemer ruin. What went on here? Ready, comrade. These constructs know no mercy. Onward. Damn it. Corino is dead. The weapon will be lost forever. No, there's still hope. Osterand will have to do it. Oblivion, take you. I can't. We can still succeed. But you'll have to enact the sacrifice, my friend. Without a soul in the crystal, there will be no way to repair the weapon. It must be done, Osterand. A sacrifice? What did they come here to do? Molag Ball's ravenous hordes claw at the gate of Del Deladil. The wave of undeath comes from the city of Abagarlis, as always. And Meridia has shown us a dire warning. Their king has begun plans for a, ma for a magical rite, a ritual with a focus of power that will drain all, li all the life from our home. Without some kind of dramatic act, Deladil will be lost. King Kendallan himself has asked me to form a plan. We have the power, the magica, the skill. We must be able to stop this these inhuman monsters. The plan has begun. We forged a weapon. It, it took much sacrifice, but the weapon will stop the ritual. Indeed, this more tomb vivicus we learned about our group has been tasked with entering the hated city of Abagarlis and ending the threat. Meanwhile, King Kenadellan will ride against the dark city city's walls with his full host and the might of Meridia behind him. We can win the day. It is done. King Enumeral's Entire family is put to the sword, and Abagarlis itself destroyed by the righteous li li lightning of Meridia. The ritual is stopped, but we cannot go home. The weapon was ruined in the attempt 
we salvaged the prismatic core at its heart and carried carry with us the plans to construct the weapon anew. We are hunted by beast, a Molag ball. We must get the crystal to safety. But we dare not lead these creatures home. Almost a week, all the while, hunted by death. We dare not return to Deladil now. The beast would destroy our home and take the crystal. Instead, we've determined that we must try to hide the core and the and, and the tome of instructions. A dwarven ruin called Mizinelt is close by. It should suffice as a final resting place for these precious relics. I must pray. I I, I just pray Velasha is ready to, for what must be done. And yes, I know I don't have any mana left. Just think what this place must have looked like in the time of the Dwemer. I owe everything to Indari. He saved me from the dark manipulations of Abagarlus, uh, Abagarlus's king. Showed me the light of Meridia. To think I would let him attempt this mission without me, me at his side. I don't know the details, but I know where, where we're going. And anything that puts a shiv in Molag Balt Ball's eye will make me rest easier. We barely escaped Abagarlus, but the fighting was intense. And I still can't believe what happened. Since making our escape, vampire assassins and ghoulish uh, huntsmen have dogged our every step. Carano says we're heading to Mazenelt. I'm not sure how a dwarven city, city figures into the plan, but I'm not here to think. Our goal is to safeguard the crystal they, they took from the weapon and some book. We've been searching the mountains for weeks now, traveling far into the eastern peaks. Insane Mur. I wor wor worry and Darius lost his mind. But then again, there's a lot I don't understand about this trip. At least I'm still alive. We barely survived the last wave. Balash is injured. We'll never hold against the dead and the constructs. Osterong is right. You need time. I'll lead the dead away, down another branch in the tunnels. Manath, don't. You'll never survive the swarm. If my death buys you the time it needs. For Deladil and Meridia! Giving yourself willingly to the river's courage. Noble. <laughs> Wonders, and a split in the path. Which way shall we go, comrade?
A moment. This may be crucial. My love, Asterond, if you're going to do it, you have to do it now. I'm dying. I can't. Don't die on me, Valasha. I can't do this. You must, my love. Or Molag Vol has won. It's what she wants, Osteran. This is why we came here. Do it! Goodbye, my love. My Valasha. Valasha's journal remains. Perhaps it will shed more light on what's going on here. I still can't believe we're alive. I've I've never seen a city like Abagarlis. The horrors I witness there are etched into my dreams. We do live, though. I have uh, I have my Osterand, and we have the crystal. That's all that matters. Since entering the Dwarven ci city, Corano has grown quiet. Today I learned why. She took me aside to talk. She believes someone must be sacrificed to the crystal before we hide. Hide it. Several powerful per priestess gave their li lives to see it forged in the first place, she said. It makes sense. Molag Ball re re revels in undeath and destruction. A life given willingly and bound would be... And it would be anathema to, to, the fiend, to that fiend. Kurano asked me if I'm willing to make the sacrifice when the time comes. I am. I am very afraid. Osteran and I were betrothed just weeks ago. He was furious when I told him the, of, of, of Karana's request, and I was afraid. And so I prayed. I spoke with Meridia for hours. I knew, I knew before I knelt that it would be my duty to accept the burden. My duty, honor, they're just words compared to, to the feel of Osteran's hand on my cheek. How could I willingly agree? In the end, was for Osteron that I agreed. With my death, I can assure the future of our world, Nern will will have need of the weapon again. And my light will last forever, bound to the crystal's heart. How could any priestess of the Sunburst turn that down? Another journal? Amazing it's still preserved. May I see it? There you go. The water begins to clear. Two cities, one warships Meridia, the other Molag Val. Abagarlis, the city of the dead, creates a relic to strike at the Meridians. Deladil, city of light, creates their own weapon, forged around a heart of crystal. And the aliens here, here are from the Meridian city, right? Just so. These ancient ones steal into the heart of the enemy with this crystal weapon. They stop the ritual, and their king ends the dark rule of Abagarlis. But they are hunted, so they try to find a haven, a place to hide the crystal. And they came here to Mazinald. You have the right of it. They sought to hide their prize, but the priestess of Meridia first gave her life. She relit the crystal heart so that the weapon could one day be forged anew. So the crystal is here. Yes, comrade. The journals also speak of a tome, instructions for creating the weapon. The crystal heart of the weapon and the means to construct it lie here somewhere in these ruins. Then we better find them. All right, this is around where I crashed. Come <laughs> on. 
can't hold them. You have to go. I'm not leaving you. We died when we agreed to this quest. We just kept walking a while. Hide the crystal. Hide the tome. Go! Such bravery in the face of certain death. It's just the two of us now. We've been down here in the dark for so long, I don't know what day it is. Osteran is quiet. Even as the sounds get closer, he misses Velasha a great deal. And I can see it on his face. We're trapped, as far as we can tell. The door forward refused to open, no matter how we tug on them. I think we may have it. It's taken us days to figure out, but the Guardian constructs in in this room contains storage strange red crystals that glow from within it took they look like they'll fit into the sockets near the doors with a little more time i believe we can find a way through the constructs they've broken through i think this will be the end goodbye lanasa lanessa lanasa lanessa wherever you are i loved you no, with my last words, I loved you. A dead centurion, a fitting resting place for my beloved. Thou just hast to hide me. What? No. The crystal. 
crystal is in that steam centurion. We must destroy it. Everything I did, everything I had to do at Apogarlas, I'll never forget the sight of that place, the feeling that washed across me. The sight of haunts me. The hunters hound our, our, hound our every step. They smell it on me. I know it. They know I was there. They could smell the blood of that dark fa family on my armor. I can hear, hear them in the night. I pray to the sunburst that we will soon find shelter. This ruin seems as good a place as any. If we can find a safe place to hide the crystal, perhaps the constructs will allow us to escape the dead. Velasha told me that she plans to sacrifice herself so, so to some, for some ludicrous plan, for some fantasy that Carano has filled her head with. The crystal is lost. The po its power gone. I've argued with Carano for hours. Now Velasha won't even speak to me. Velasha finally broke her broke the silent. She's adamant that the, that this must happen. I understand her duties as a priestess of Meridia, but I never believe, believe that that they they lead her to to sacrifice her beliefs or her to self sacrifice. She believe her beliefs come first. I cannot falter for that. I just w w wish our story wasn't going to end this way. We've succeeded where that withered root dosha failed, comrade. Here, I will open a portal for us to return. Yes, Guildmaster. Take the crystal and the tome. Give them to Merrick, and he can begin learning what it will take to forge the weapon. And where are you going, Guildmaster? I have something I must attend to, comrade. The knowledge we have gained here has flooded my mind. I must mine the river's course. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. All right, see you then. I'll see you down the river, comrade. Please, speak with me. I have only a moment to talk. Why do you keep appearing to me? You're in danger. Danger I can't fully comprehend. Not even in death. What kind of danger? We can't talk. We can't. Why can't we talk about th this danger? Someone close to you has plans. Plans for both of us to betray you i am anchored contained pulled away beware comrade well You are back, impressive. Aleph still cannot see what the godless dwarves might have had. What would they have that Guildmaster sees all colors would want? Aleph is well, moons be bright for asking. She worries about the time and money spent on this quest. We destroy anchors, slaughter Daedra, but what is accomplished? Ask our dear guild master, comrade. She spent many faith. Welcome back from the depths, comrade. Guildmaster sees all colors. Told me you'd have something for me. Yes, we found this tome and the crystal in Mazenald. Thank you. I'll begin my research straight away. You'll be the first we contact once I know the details. In the meantime, sees all colors sends her regrets she couldn't stay. 
She said she had an urgent matter to attend to. You're starting to make... requests your help. Comrade, I must speak with you about... Sees All Colors requests you make your way to her as soon as possible. She said she hopes to make use of your prize. She said you'd understand what that meant. She and Aelith await you at the hall in Stormhold. Go well on your path. Not much you don't already know. Every blade's been turned toward the Daedra. Heard a big crew took down an anchor somewhere in Cyrodiil last week. Messy business. Landed right on top of a skirmish between the Pact and the Dominion. I'm sure it's just a clerical error. You'll be in the Academy next season for sure. I see the messenger found you, comrade. We've discovered much since our adventure in Mizenelt. The events of the past continue to stalk us. And what do you mean by that? <laughs> the visions, my friend. The aliens fled from the forces of Molag Bal and hid away the remains of a powerful relic. Merrick has taken the crystal and the tome to an ancient forge. There, he's begun the work of crafting the weapon anew. So were we? So we're going to join him? In time, comrade. First, you and I must travel afield to the ruined city of Agarlis. It was there the Aelids went to stop the Mortum Vivicus. Together, we will understand the threat to the present and the events of the past. If you're, if I'm ready to go, if you are. Comrade, you were the first person I thought of when it came time to explore a musty ruin. That is meant as a compliment. We call it the Earth Forge. Merrick found it on a contract a few years ago. The maintenance constructs had long since shut down. The ruin contains the most unique blacksmithing setup. Even the basest of metals sing in its embrace. We call it the Earth Forge. Merrick in Mizenelt, we saw visions of ancient soldiers, survivors of a strategic attack on a city of darkness. Abagarlis is that city, an ancient stronghold of Molag Bal. I expect we will learn much from those old stones. You have my apologies, comrade. When I heard the ancients speaking of the Mortum Vivicus, I knew the past might contain more clues to solve our present crisis. I wanted to begin my research immediately. Not looking forward to this, not gonna lie. Welcome to the ruins of Abagarlis, comrade. Ancient home to a foul den of necromancers <clears throat> and Molag Bal worshippers. What's the plan? We are here to relive the past. In Mazenelt, we saw a squad of soldiers on the run for their lives. Here, at Abagarlis, that same group was calm and in control. Together, we can see what they saw 
and discover what they knew about the Mortoon Vivicus. And how can we do that? After Mizenelt, I researched a way to take control of the visions we saw. Osterand was the ancient soldier charged with bearing the prismatic weapon into battle. It is through his eyes you will see. And, in turn, I will see through your eyes. So what do you hope to learn here, Colors? The ancients stood against the Vivicus and survived. Now, Molag Bal makes ready to unleash the same relic against Tamriel again. It is my hope the courage of the long dead will save the living of today. And then we'd better get started. Hold still just a moment, comrade. To you, Osterland. You bear the prismatic weapon and the hopes of everyone in Delodil. Menath and Kurano will hold the door from this side. Velasha and I from the other. May the sunburst guide your sword arm, my friend. I am not disturbed. To attain the final phase of the Mortoon Vivicus requires all of my concentration. Cannot stop the more tomb, Vivacus. Oh no, Master, please spare me. Brutal. That was Prince Malian, scion of evil King Anunarim. He must have been left behind to defend the victory.
mind to the Prince of Lies. My stomach turns just to see it. Let's move on. Light. That must be the more tomb Vivicus. No! My sacred charm! Your life for the master! Remove the Vivicus to Cold Harbor. This doom will come again to Camriel. Comrade, over here. This is terrible, my friend. Osterand was on the verge of destroying the Vivicus and nothing. What do you mean? The rapids have grown swift, and we did not even notice. Let me explain. Do you remember the notes you took from Dosha's lair? The ones that spoke of the Vivicus? Yes, why? I had assumed that this relic she spoke of was a legend. Even when I heard the words of Osterand, Endera, and their companions, I thought this was a threat from a time long forgotten. But, comrade, we just saw it. The Vivicus was never destroyed. And what do you mean? What does this mean? You saved Merrick from a worm cult plot to harvest souls, remember? Those souls are fuel for the Vivicus. The intact Mortum Vivicus that Molag Bal has kept hidden all this time. Safely tucked away in Cold Harbor. And what do we do? You must go to the forge. Help Merrick at Aswalo restore the prismatic weapon to its full potential. I will do what I can to find where he has hidden the Vivicus. Comrade, I put my faith in you. You must tell the others. Warn them. Can I count on you? You can count on me, Guildmaster. I would entrust this task to no one else, comrade. You go with the weight of the guild on your shoulders. Just so, my friend. I believe it to be some kind of relic. A massive spell capable of holding and harnessing the souls of thousands upon thousands of dead. If it had been released, if it is released, the world as we know it will end. And whose memories did I relive? You saw through the eyes of Osterand, one of the valiant ancients that fought and died in the Zenalt to safeguard our future. According to what we saw, it was he who slew Queen Palolo and stopped the use of the Mortum Vivicus. And what was that orb of light? Just so, my friend. Okay.
How was your research trip with the Guildmaster, comrade? Yeah, eventful, Merrick. I have much to tell you. Truly. What happened? Were the ruins infested with undead? Stendar's wrath would have served you in good stead. Colors and I saw them to the past. We saw one of the Aelids try to destroy the Morgan Vivicus. Comrade, did you say try? The Vivicus is not some long destroyed legend. Molagbal withdrew the Vivicus into Col to Cold Harbor before it could be destroyed. Then, when Dosha took me prisoner, she was to harvest my soul for this abomination? By all the eight, we should be moving. Aleph will await us here. Keep watch for any unfriendly faces. Come, follow me, and try to keep up. All right. I helped to find this place years ago, Stendar's will. Comrade, this news is disquieting. I'm glad you're here with us. I've made preparations to work the prismatic crystal, to reforge the weapon from the time of the ancients. In truth, I thought this weapon would just be a powerful symbol. It seems we have great need of this important relic. Welcome to the Earth Forge. Quite a sight, is it not? Comrade, we must restore this weapon of old. Make ready for any new plots by the Prince of Lies. I feel the strength of Stendar flowing through my arms. Are you prepared? I'm ready. What do we do? I shall work the anvil. Form the core. You will keep the fire at the proper temperature. Many and many times must the fire be stoked to keep an even flame and flow. But how do I maintain the fire? Use the bellows here to stoke the flame. Oh, excuse me, sorry guys. Use the valve to my other side to stoke it yet more. And for a truly fearsome blaze, pour fire salts on the coals. And what if the fire gets too hot? The lever just next to the valve releases pressure from the forge. But do not worry. I'm certain you'll do fine. Are you ready to begin? So the weapon will be done today? I wish it was so, but no. You and I are merely forming the core. Whatever weapon we decide to make, the runes and hilt and all of that must wait for another day. All right. This equipment is very old and very delicate. Stend our willing. We must try to get it right the first time. Here are the fire salts. Let's begin. Build me a small fire first, and I shall tell you when you are close. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. Ease up. Fire. That's the fire I'm looking for. Stand back. I shall prepare the core. Now I'll need a larger fire, comrade. Double the heat of the last one. More heat. Make it hotter. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. Ease up now. The fire is very close. Stendar's wrath, that fire is hot. Just a moment, comrade. I'll prepare the core. Even hotter fire, the largest yet, twice the size of the last one. Give it more. Get the flames large enough. You're on the right track, but we need more. Much more. Make this fire remind me of Sentinel Seth. Give it all you've got. I need all the heat you can get. Let the fire loose now. Give it all you can. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. Ease up now. The 
fire pretty close. Ha! Feel that heat? Just a moment and I'll prepare the core. We've done it. Very well done, comrade. Excellent work, oh my comrade. Together there is nothing we cannot do. Is it done? Have we forged the core? We are well on our way, I can feel it. We'll have to tinker with it to see what Stendar's grace, what's that noise? Fools! Do you truly think you could hide that trinket from the god of schemes? <laughs> Serve me even in death. My devoted, kill them. Kill them and bring me the crystal. to Cold Harbor. For the Lord of I'm stuck. My followers serve me even in death. Get I'm fucking stuck. Oh my fucking oh, I fucking hate this. Hold on. Let me try uh logging out real quick. Fucking stupid. Let's try this again, shall we? You know what? Fuck you all. Can I abandon this quest? Hold on. Holy fucking shit, dude.
fucking hate it when I get stuck. And our shield us. The earth forge overrun with undead. Merrick, he knows it, but we have the crystal. That was Molog Ball himself. Did you hear his voice? Made my blood run cold. That such an evil thing could be right here, in our midst. Merrick, how do you think they found us? I do not know. Perhaps he somehow can track the core itself. If the Prince of Lies is planning to use the Vivicus once again, the prismatic weapon is a threat to his plots. Does this mean the forge is in danger? You have the right of it. I'll speak with the provost generals and post some guards. If undead can come boiling up out of the mountain at any time, there's no telling what might happen here. Is the core finished? No, not just yet. We came so close. Don't worry, though. I can complete the final steps on my own. This weapon will yet see the light of day, mark my words. The Mortum Vivicus will yet be destroyed. Then let's get out of here. Yes, we should be going. We must find Seize All Colors and inform her what has happened here. Lead on, comrade. Stendar, are you all right, Aleph? What happened in there? How did these worms find the forge? We were finishing up when they appeared. They were after the crystal and tome. How did they know? How did they know about this place? Aleph does not know. Merrick, this whole thing is madness. She has us hunting Daedra, and now they come calling on our doorstep. Aleph, behind you! Aleph. Merrick, I do not rest easily. Dark Moons, Guildmaster Iceblade, what's happening? I was murdered, comrades. Seek my killer. Let me find peace. Yafnir, wait. Who killed you? Interesting. Very interesting. Aleph has her suspicion. This is unbelievable. Stendar's horn. We all thought the guildmaster died in his sleep. Let's report to seize all. Let's report in to seize all colors. I'm sorry, comrade. I knew Yafnir a long time. You're right. We need to report in. So much has happened. 
Lead on, my friend. I think I'll let Aleph lead the way this time. Come. Were you successful? Have you forged the weapon? We have more need of it now than ever, my friend, as you well saw. We began to forge the weapon, but much has happened. What has happened, comrade? I do not like the look on your face, or the scowl Merrick bears. Uh, the Earth Forge was attacked by the dead of Abigarlis. Molech Ball taunted us during the assault. The god of schemes himself has taken notice of our quest. We're all in murky water now, comrade, and the current grows swift. There's more. After the uh, the attack, Yafnir appeared to uh, to us and told us he had been murdered. What? Yafnir murdered? This is dire news, comrade. The council must be told straight away. There will have to be an investigation. Thank you for standing beside us on this of all dark days. Not a problem. What now, Gu Guildmaster? Merrick, Aleph, and I will confer with the Council of Provost Generals. We'll want to talk about the attack and this revelation about Guildmaster Iceblade. We'll contact you again when there's more to discuss. Until then, comrade. All right. The Guild has need of you, comrade. Comrade. A me Merrick Ataswala sends word. He asks you to join him as soon as you can. He's called a gathering of the Council of Province Generals at Fort Amor. You should find him at the hall there. No, no. Just lots of rumors about the Council investigation. The old guard thinks sees all colors would have had a lot to gain from Yofnir's death. And from what I've heard, she's not at the meeting. Some uh, your an uncle. An uncle. What's the lucky tart's name? I can't pronounce Argonian names. Have to settle for calling him Junior.
My comrade, I am very glad to see you again. What's going on? Who are these people? This is the Council of Province Generals. They run the guild under the direction of the Guildmaster, and they're very concerned. I've been speaking to them about our experiences with the ghost of Yafnir in the attack on the Earthforge. And what have they decided? We feel... The Council feels that we need to further investigate Yafnir's death. You will be their eyes and ears, with Aleph assisting you. She's gone to get some air outside. She can explain in more detail. I'll go find her then. If anyone can get to the bottom of this, it's you and Aleph. She went for a walk to get some air. I think you'll find her near the docks. Stendar, guard your steps, my friend. Can you tell me more about the province generals? I'm sure you've seen some of the council as you've traveled across Tamriel. Not it really. represents a former province of the Empire, managing business there for the Guildmaster. Stendar, give us strength. What's wrong? Just amazing to think of this as the full council. Skyrim, High Rock, elsewhere, Valenwood, and Cyrodiil. Hardly the whole of the Empire. We've lost a number of generals over the last few years, and a few even quit after Yafnir died. What happened after the last time we spoke? I finished what I could on the weapon, and we repaired the damage from the Daedric attack on the Earthforge. The core remains unfinished, though, while we deal with these plots. And Yafnir? Alif reached out to members of the Mages Guild. They tried to summon his spirit, talk to him. They failed. Alif says something is preventing him from talking to us. I don't know much of such things, but I'm sure she has the right of it. Where is Sees All Colors? I wish I knew. I extend her Stendar's grace, but the Council isn't willing to do the same. She disappeared from quarters after the attack on the Forge. They've actually ordered the rank and file to search for her. Do you think she's behind this? No, I don't. But I'm one of the few. Aleph has already made up her mind as well. Not only does she think Colors ordered the attack, Aleph's convinced she murdered Yafnir. Damn it. Very strange indeed. You have spoken to Merrick then, seen the council. It is about time we acted. Good to see you too, Elof. This one apologizes, comrade. She has been urging action for some time. Finally, to be able to... <clears throat> we have been tasked with investigating Yafnir's death. Yes, we should begin. What do you want me to do? Yafnir kept a room nearby. Aleph gave instructions no one was to be allowed inside until we arrived. I shall keep watch here. Enter Yafnir's quarters and search for something. Anything to suggest a road to travel. I'll let you know what I can what what I find. Aleph knew she could trust you. Why are you with the Council and Merrick? Too many voices. All of the very important used to being heard. They want this mystery solved, and they want it solved now. They are used to combat, direct action. All this thinking hurts their heads. Not you? <laughs> Elif would have hoped you'd notice by now. This one loves to fight. Loves the thrill of combat. But a thorny puzzle, a tricky lock, a track to follow in the woods, just as much fun as a blade in a brawl. What am I looking for? Anything out of place, anything connected with a place or a person. We thought his death just the touch of chance, so we did not know to search. Anything might be a clue. And how did Yafner die? We found him in his quarters, the endless sleep. It was very sudden, but at the time we thought nothing of it. 
Yaknir was getting old. Sooner or later, one of the faster blades would have made him sit down. No signs of combat? None. And slow though he was, he never would have gone to... What was it? Yes, Sovngarde. He never would have gone to Sovngarde without a fight. I've done all I can for now. I salvaged what I could from the, of this situation. Took a few relics and tro as trophies. I should be back out, out, out in the light soon enough. I can put these lessons to good use the next time I visit R Ragnthar. The Dwemer constructs will, will set watch. Keep the place safe. I don't want any visitors. The next time we meet, I'm going to end this. I can't let, let, let this go on any longer. I'll stop in Windhelm, see if I can't get get a few supplies for the next trip. Maybe some mead. It's been so long. It's been far too long since I had a decent brew. The king and his counselors are camped at Jorinstand, getting ready to move against Ilgor Orkbo. It's about time, I say. What have you found? You often have visited a place called Bragenthar and spoke of meeting someone. Interesting, interesting. Bragenthar is a dwarven ruin. Why would he? We must travel there, comrade. See if we can uncover more. There were a number of dwarven relics in his quarters. Relics? Jafnir was no scribe. He was like most Nords this one has met. A Warhammer diplomat. The guild lost some contracts because of it, but the rank and file loved him. Now Aleph is truly surprised. The guildmaster had the magical prowess of a particularly slow horse. What was he doing at that ruin? Perhaps we should go to Windhelm as well. His journal mentions he stopped there. Good thought. Perhaps some in the guild hall saw him there. This one suggests you question our comrades in Windhelm. Aleph will meet you nearby. She has some preparations to make. Where should I meet you? There is a bridge just outside the Windhelm gates. Meet Aleph there, and we will journey to Ragandar together. As you say, hello, Aleph. Nice to see you, comrade. Our numbers aren't what they used to be. Live by the sword and all that. Did you see ever see see Guildmaster Yafnir come through here? Sure, I remember him here, but not his business. I think he spoke with Akita a few times. I wish he was still around. Be interested to hear what he thinks of this contract, knowing the council's all torn up about it. What do you mean by that? Oh, you know. 
The Guild has always been about our short, simple contracts. One and done was the mantra a lot of the lads used. Now, this long-term thing with the anchors? The coin's good, but it's a big change. Not everyone likes it, that's all. Thanks. Welcome to the hall, comrade. I bet you've got some good tales to tell of our war on the anchors. Actually, I'm here to a ask about the former guildmaster. Did you ever see 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 off near here? Sure, of course. Had me set out some supplies for him a few times. He said he was going out to Ragenthar, that weird old glimmer ruin. I kept telling him the mages had already emptied it out, but he kept telling me he needed to go. And what was that about the mages guild? Oh, studying it and such. Ragenthar is weird. Unique, I guess you'd say. See, nobody really knows where it is. Physically, that is. It has an entrance near here, right? But the mages say stepping through the door is some kind of... Some kind of what? Tempo. Temporospatial claudication. I think that's what they call it. Anyway, it means the ruins inside are all scooped out of time and space. There are entrances to the place all over Tamriel, but nobody knows where it really is. Did he tell you why he was going there? He said he was meeting someone, that he had to meet with them somewhere safe, that what they were talking about was very important. Guess that's why Yafnir went to the trouble of going to that weird old place. Thanks for your time. Looking to crack some Daedric skulls? I've got what you need. Did you ever see Guildmaster Yafnir come through here? Yes. He actually visited a few times in the months before he died. Always came into town dirty and smelling like boots after a hard march. Never asked why. Didn't seem like a thing he was likely to tell me. Right, thanks. Go carefully, comrade. Uncertain times in Tamriel. Only thing you can be sure of is a good weapon. This one is anxious to get moving. Aleph will lead the way to Ragenthar if you're ready. Lead the way, Aleph. Here we go. Try to keep up, yes? Follow, comrade. This one cannot wait to taste the air in Ragenthar. Yofnir visits a remote Wemmer ruin just before his death. No coincidence. And now the guild openly opposes a Daedric prince. Risky, risky. To throw the guild against such power. Foolish. This one remembers when we fought goblins, bandits. Small contracts, one and done, yes? Almost there, be on your guard. And here we are, Ragenthar. Welcome to Ragenthar. The barrier here is a relic of its builders. They did something very strange to this place. And what did they do? Ragenthar is twisted out of space. This entrance here will allow us in. But it is not really here, if that makes sense. Lucky for no. us, Aleph came prepared. She can bring the door into focus. Let us inside. And how are you going to do that? 
In her travels, Aleph has learned little tricks and techniques. She has fought mages, Daedra, the undead, even werewolves. You don't hunt monsters as long as she has without learning a thing or two. After you, then. This one will just be a moment. Sound of gears. Watch yourself. Tactic. Are you well, comrade? Did it harm you? I'm fine. What's going on? A protective barrier. With something inside, Aleph can sense a great power here. Formidable. But this one knows a spell to negate it. You can bring it down. Not without your assistance. Aleph will subdue the crystals. You must destroy them. Your window will be short. The spell is taxing, and Aleph can only maintain it for so long. Prepare yourself. Move your paws quickly. Now, destroy the crystals. <laughs> Now to examine the body. That did not sound good. It is a trap. is pleased to have you at her side what was that armored creature they are called aurorans a strange type of daedra i think elif has only faced them once before if she recalls correctly they choose their allegiances carefully very curious that we would face them here elif there was a guild insignia on that car corpse let elif see this is Yachnir's. His body here felt white. He was to be interred near his home in East March. The barrier was around his body. 
keeping us out, yes. But perhaps, perhaps also keeping him in. Elif has tried to have Yafnir summoned from Aetherius, and it has never worked. Perhaps now, Elif has an idea. And what's your idea? Perhaps with the barrier down, we speak to him directly. This one knows how to reach out. Elif can draw him to this place, so close to his body. What do you say? Are you ready to get some answers? I'm ready. You have seen the spirit of Yafnir, but always just for a moment. This one believes we can summon him, speak to him, learn who murdered him. You can do that? Elif told you she has power. Magical gifts, connections to lands beyond. She will use them to draw the spirit to this place. Then we shall see, yes? We begin. Elif will start the ritual. Who summons me? Hush, spirit. Elif will ask the question. What do you wish to know? I will tell you what I can. Elif demands the name of your murderer. Who killed you, Yafnir? It was the Argonian. My subordinate sees all colors. This one knew it would be so. Be gone, spirit. Elif is done with you. I have done as you asked. Release me to walk in Sovngarde. Go. Elif will call for you again soon. Sovngarde, indeed. You heard the guildmaster. Sees all colors. She murdered Yofnir. It's hard to believe. Perhaps for you. This one has suspected all along. The lizard was the one to become guildmaster. The lizard was the one who set us on this crusade. Elif smelled something foul on the wind. Find Merrick and the council. They are probably still in their moot at Fort Amul. They need to know about this, and they will heed your word. Elif shall remain and search for more clues. What news do you have? It's bad. I didn't even want to let myself think it. When she disappeared after your visit to the Iliad ruin. What is your proof, my friend? 
The Council will need solid evidence. Aleph did what? Stendar's breath, that's disgusting. I'll have to talk to her when she returns. But I suppose it did answer our concerns. Oblivion take lizards and cats both. Uh, what's the next step? Seize all colors will be found and thrown in a cell. Stay in touch, comrade. We will need you when the time comes. Until there is an urgent task for you. I have an urgent message for you. Uh huh. Alif needs to speak to you immediately. I don't know what happened. She looks grim, so it can't have been good. You should find her as soon as possible. She's waiting for you at the Rift in Guildhall in the Rift. Good luck, comrade. Not as far as I know. Every member of the guild received instructions to detain her if she's sighted. I still... I still can't believe she killed Guildmaster Iceblade. Tribunal, protect us. I will send for you. It is good Bera found you, comrade. The bright moons know Aleph is glad to see you again. She would trust no one else for the task before us today. So where are we going? So what are we going to do? The council has spoken. Seize all colors never return to the fold after your visit to Abagarles. She has bled. She is guilty. She must be killed. She hasn't been found yet. How will we locate her? I have an idea, but we must confer with Merrick. He's returned to the Earth Forge to finish work on the Prismatic Core. Aleph is ready to open a portal, take us straight to his side. Are you prepared? I'm ready. Wait, what? Lead on, Aleph follows. Yes, she is very eager. Aleph has resented colors, a foolish war. Much you will see, my friend. This Mortum Vivicus Aleph has heard so much about, she does not know. Those visions of the past you saw in Ragnthar and Abagales made it sound like a potent threat. But what if Colors was behind all of that? Aleph does not know. Yeah. Seems like we were just here, yes? By forge and fire we prep for war. Ah, you hear Merrick there at the forge. He has already begun. With war in our eyes, we ready to die. This prismatic weapon could be a powerful force against Molag Ball. With yes. death in hand, we bear our blades. 
It is a difficult task we undertake today, to hunt a comrade. By Stendar's blade, we will settle the score. I'll begin the ritual. My friends, you came just in time. I'm almost done. My work here is nearly complete, comrade. The core will soon be a weapon once again. Truly? I believe so, O oh my comrade. There's really only one way to find out. You will bear it into battle. The ultimate test will come against the Mortum Vivicus itself. So what's the plan? No doubt Aleph has already told you of the Council's decision. The province generals have condemned Colors to death. She never returned to any of her quarters. She seems to be avoiding guild members. My friend, I don't know what to think. How do we find her? Aleph has a plan. Everything about what she proposed sickens me. But we are desperate. She believes Jafner can find colors, track her somehow, that they are linked. She also thinks... Bah! What? She thinks colors has turned on us. That she's gone over to the Prince of Lies. That if we can find her, we'll find the Vivicus. Enough! My friend, before you speak to her, I must ask of you a question. What's that? The one bright spot in the room. The prismatic weapon. I can forge it in any form you desire. Stendar himself speaks through my craftsmanship today. What will you wield? A great sword, a long sword, a staff, or a bow? A long sword. A fine choice, so my comrade. It will be done. Speak with Aleph, and I will have a gift for you shortly. Thank you. <laughs> Let us summon our old friend. He will know where his murderer hides. Damn it, Kat. Can't you let him? Not just yet, old Nord. Aleph has one more question for you. Where is she's all colors? Where does she hide? No, I cannot. I cannot tell you. He holds me bound. Tell Aleph, or she will show you what it means to be bound. Ah, she. She sought out the Mortum Vivicus. It's. It's in the halls of submission. Don't go, comrades. She's... Enough! Aleph is up to the challenge. But don't worry, Yafnir. She will let Molag Ball know how helpful you are. The weapon is ready, comrade. Take it from the anvil and follow us into battle. Aleph, 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 you have said too much.
just a moment. Elif recognizes this. Yes, these crystals control access to the room ahead. Comrade, focus on that first crystal. By the mace, it worked. Comrade, come to this crystal here. Merrick, you focus on the one by the door. I got it. That's it. Merrick, you hold that beam. Aleph will use the last crystal to open the door. We are almost there. Feels like the old days, Aleph. Let's get this done. You must stop Aleph before it's too late. Colors we know. We know about Yapnir. No, my comrade, my friend, you have been deceived. Did you kill Yafnir or not? I, I did. Comrade, I served the Daedric Prince Meridia. She blessed me with a sacred mission. I mobilized the Fighters Guild to defy Molag Bal. Yafnir would not listen to me. And you had to kill him. The anchors were a danger to everyone on Tamriel. I received reports that cultists had begun harvesting souls for some kind of weapon. Yafnir would not listen. I had to act. My friend, I trust you, as does the council. I put my fate in your hands. Talk to me, Colors. What would you have me say? The Prince of Lies is everywhere. He undermines Meridia's efforts, places whispers in our ears. I tried to explain it to Yafnir and Ragnathar, but he wouldn't listen. He refused to hear my words. Whispers in our ears. Yes. Surely you have seen the darkness within Aleph. I didn't know, not for certain, but I believe she serves the Lord of Lies and consorts with his minions. You could have spoken to Merrick. I know. I should have. But Merrick is a servant of Stendar. I feared he would react badly to my love of the lady. As if she were like that foul schemer, Molag Bal. And why are you... I guess. I know your decision will be just. What have you decided? Your quest is just. Let's finish this and go. Idiot. Must I do everything in Molag Bal's name? Die! By the Master's grace, I summon these pawns. May they power me with his wrath to crush my enemies. Feel his power bursting through me. Minions of Molag 
Come on. Why are you here, Yafnir? I am here to keep you safe, comrade. And to help you see this task done, you must destroy this abomination, this Smortum Vivicus. What should I do? Throw the weapon into the center of the construct. Molag Bal's dark plot will be at an end. Don't be afraid. I will keep you safe, my comrade. See it done. <laughs> your way home. You've done well, my friend. The Mortum Vivacus is destroyed. Thank you for your help, Yafnir. It has been an honor to save the guild I served in life. Now the council has assembled. You should speak to them. Unless Hakruba has changed a great deal since my death, she won't like to be kept waiting. She intimidates me as well, comrade. Do not worry. I'm sure Hakruba will treat us fairly. Stand up and win truthful. Do you think they'll agree to my de with my decision? Comrade, the council has faith in you. I have faith in you. As does Stendhal. What you did, you did for the good of the guild and all of Tamriel. I know they will support your choice. Comrade, it is good to speak with you again. And you, Countess. Vera told us of Aleph's plan to hunt seize all colors. I see that Merrick and the spirit of Yafnir Iceblade accompany you. Tell us for all and the ape to hear. Merrick, Merrick, Aleph, and I traveled to the into oblivion track oblivion tracking sees all colors carrying out our sentence punishment for her foul deed and yet i notice that she still stands hale and whole why is this she confessed to the crime but she convinced me her cause was just truly just the murder of a brave and fair-handed leader was just what words did she weave to convince you of this? She is a priestess of Meridia. She sought only the destruction of the Mortum Vivicus. I see. I know Meridia is an enemy of death across Tamriel. A light in the darkness, but still. Very well. We will deal with her in a moment. Where is the Khajiit Aleph? She tried to kill us. She was a follower of Molag Bal. I slew her and destroyed the Vivicus. Yet more betrayal. I've known for years that her tongue was forked. But the Lord of Lies. 
You have cleansed an evil corruption from the guild, comrade. We owe you a debt of gratitude. Well, what, what about Merrick? He was innocent on in all of this. You do not need to worry about Merrick. We have already reached our decision about him. However, seize all colors. Comrade, normally we would never allow a Daedric worshipper to remain close to the guild leadership, but these are desperate times. He did what she felt was she had to. Let her serve the guild. It brings me some unease to admit, but I think you're right. And I believe I know just what service she can offer. If you will, comrade, attend me at my side. We have some matters to discuss. As you say, Countess. Seize all colors. Present yourself to the council. The council has decided we will honor the contract to fight the Daedra. Meridia continues to provide coin through her worldly servants. But we cannot allow a murderer to remain Guildmaster. I understand. We have decided to award you a new title. The Light of the Guild. You will advise the new Guildmaster in all matters relating to the Daedra for the rest of your days. Penance for the blood on your hands. Thank you, Countess. I will not let you down. You were dismissed. Merrick, present yourself to the Council. Merrick at Aswala, in light of your service to the Guild, in light of your sound judgment and brave heart, we cannot think of anyone more appropriate than you. You, Merrick, are to be the new Guildmaster of the Fighters Guild. It will be your responsibility to oversee completion of the contract established by Seize All Colors. Remain vigilant against the forces of Molag Bal. The Guild is a shield. A bastion for the people of Timriel, where it will. You've been quiet, Merrick. What do you have to say about all this? I thank you, Council Members. I accept this position with honor and grace. I swear to my ancestors, I will not let you down. Now, Guildmaster, please see our friend out. We have much to discuss, and little time in which to plan. Comrade. We wish you well in your travels, and look forward to our next encounter. Come, comrade. You can't do much good hiding in this forge. Let's get you back into the fight. Speak with me a moment, comrade. Who could have known we'd be standing here like this, my friend? You destroyed an artifact of the Prince of Lies, and I... I'm the new leader of the Fighters Guild. Congratulations, Merrick. Stend our sweaty sword arm. I still have trouble understanding everything that's happened. Aleph dead, a minion of Molog Ball, and seize all colors. Did we do the right thing? She was trying to do... do she was trying to do the right thing and now you you'll you'll be there there to mind her i you're right about that but Aleph was my friend comrade i'd known her for we used to joke you know about what we'd do if we led the guild without her i don't know what i'm going to do well what do you want to do do you have a favorite tavern ha. right now my friend i will rest what comes tomorrow comes then, and only Stendar knows what challenges we'll face. For now, I will talk to the council and plan for that tomorrow. Is there anything else I can for uh, is there anything else before I go? Yes, actually. I'll make sure the way to the Earthforge remains open to you from now on. I've found that the gear forged here often has special qualities. You might find it to your liking. Good luck, my friend. Thank you, Guildmaster.
Heal. This great time of unrest within the guild is at an end. You've done very well, comrade. Yafnir, what are you doing here? I am bound for Sovngarde and the halls of Iskramor. But before I take my leave, I would make for you a gift. A prismatic weapon. I retrieved it from where it had fallen after the Mortum Vivicus was destroyed. I am honored, Yafnir. You are a true hero of the guild, comrade. You deserve nothing less. What's more, consuming the Vivicus has unmade the weapon. It is once again in its primal form. I can return it to your hand in any shape you desire. What do you say, comrade? Comrade, I grow very tired. My time here on Tamriel has gone on far too long. I go now to join my ancestors, to feast in the halls of those gone by. I go knowing that the Fighter's Guild is in very good hands. This great comrade. Cool. All right. Well, Excuse me. All right. Well, that's the end of the Fighters Guild. Aye, it's safer here, but I miss Fulham and that hard ass Iron Hand. What about old Wandering Eye? Huh, the Wolf was an odd duck for sure. He'd stare out that window for hours. Ugh, creepy. And the way he looked at Mistress Halfrida was just, well, obscene. Don't worry about how Frida. Any man lays a hand on her will get a dagger in his belly. Huh? What? What? Who? What? When? Where? Why? How? Who was speaking just now? What? Hey there. Skills getting rusty or looking for new ones? hardly know what to do next with all that's happened in the last few days it pains me to stay here as riften is threatened but i am sworn to protect my thane no matter the cost anyways i will end the episode there um but yeah sorry i haven't been uploading lately but uh i just been super busy and just like you know savoring my days off and such so anyways thank you for spending some time with me and i will catch you all in the next one uh i don't know when i'll upload next um like i said in the beginning of the video i'm just having a little bit of audio issues with my skyrim game well not skyrim game but my obs it's not you know picking up the audio as smoothly as i wanted to and i guess it's stuttering for lack of a better word whatever um but yeah um i'll catch you all in the next one make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll, and uh comment if you have any thoughts
And that's about it. See you.